What's up guys, Drake here for Channel 5 TGN Sports and bringing you guys complete coverage of the 2012 Olympic Games right here on Channel 5.TGN. Today, day number 10, the morning edition. Let's take a look at the medals, shall we? And the medal count as of halfway through day 10 of these amazing Olympic Games. Right on top of the leaderboard right now is the Republic of China, 31 gold, 19 silver and 14 bronze, giving them a total tally of 64. Followed closely by the United States, which has got 28 gold, 14 silver and 19 bronze, total tally of 61. Great Britain is also doing some serious comeback here. They've got 18 gold, 11 silver and 11 bronze for a total tally of 40. Right guys, let's get on to the question, shall we? The answer to yesterday's question was, the five Olympic rings represent the five major regions of the world. Africa, Americas, Asia, Europe and the Shana. Every national flag in the world includes one of the five colors which are from left to right, blue, yellow, black, green and red. Congrats quality Darren, you got it right, you were the first correct answer. A lot of gentlemen said it was the continents, it wasn't, it is the major regions of the world. Rather, your answer was, the answer is the five rings representing the five major regions of the world and that was correct. Today's question, what is the modern Olympic Games motto? Leave your creative answers in the comment section below. Let's get on with the news, shall we? And Great Britain won gold in the Olympic team's jumping competition after a dramatic final at the Greenwich Park today. It was Britain's first Olympic jumping title for 60 years and came after the host nation and Netherlands finished tied after two rounds. Usain Bolt is targeting more Olympic game glory in the 200 meters after his stunning victory in the 100 meters last night. Bolt suffered a shock defeat from his Jamaican teammate Johan Blake in both the 100 meter and the 200 meters at the Jamaican trials. But the 26 year old bounced back in a sensational fashion, pulling away from an outstanding field to win his second Olympic 100 meter title in a time of 9.63. Blake, the unwitting catalyst for Bolt's success, had to settle for silver and immediately promised that the 200 meter would be his time to make a mark on the Olympic Games. But Bolt now considered himself to be one triumph, one more successful Olympic title defense away from achieving legendary sprint status. I've told Johan Blake I'm not going to let him beat me again. I've said it to him already, Bolt said. When Blake beat me in Jamaica, that was a wake-up call. He effectively knocked on my door and said, Son, this is an Olympic year. Wake up! And he definitely did. Giovanni Senogoraz of Croatia secured a dramatic win in the men's strap at the final shooting event of London 2012. The 29-year-old qualified for the final with the lowest score but missed only once while his rivals flattered. He ended up in a shoot-off of gold against the world champion Massino Fabrizi and it was the Italian who missed first and gave Senogoraz the title. Republic of Korea's Yak Haksa won one gold in the men's vault final at the North Greenwich Arena. Young was the last man to compete and scored a huge average of 16.533 for the two vaults. Denmark came from behind to beat Republic of Korea 26-24 and built some momentum for their Wednesday quarterfinals in the men's handball. Serbia cruised past Romania 12-4 to win the group in the men's water polo tournament. The Beijing bronze medalists and European champions came into the Olympic Games as favorites and their form will worry the other teams in the quarterfinals. Russia's Alaya Mastafina claimed gold in the uneven bars with a superb score of 16.133. Mastafina finished ahead of defending Olympic champion He Kaksin of China who claimed silver with a score of 15.933 and Great Britain's Beth Tweedley 15.9611 bronze. Her first ever Olympic medal in her last games. And China remains on course to claim all the table tennis gold medals at the London 2012 Olympic Games after Li Hia Ding Ning and Jiu Ye booked the place in the women's team finals. The Chinese aim heading into the games was to claim a maximum medal haul of four golds and two silvers. They made a perfect start and Li overcame countrywoman Ding in the singles final before Zhang Jik did likewise in the men's against Wang Hao. The Babington World got the finish to the London 2012 tournament it craved as the sport's greatest two players played out a final of almost unbelievable quality. Statistics proclaim that the epic conclusion to the men's singles event between arch rival Li Dang and Li Chong Wei to have been watched by 20% of the world's population. It was a spectacle worth savoring. The early canoe sprint pace was set by Canada's Adam van Kuferdan in the Kayaki Singles K1-1000 as the action got underway at Eton Dorney. He finished the course at Eton Dorney in a time of 3 minutes 28.209 and was followed over the line in the semi-final race by Eric Persis Larsen of Norway and René Pulse of Denmark. 
And right guys, that brings us to the end of today's morning edition of day 10 of the 2012 London Olympic Games. I'm Drake for TGN Channel 5. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys back in a couple of hours. Over and out.